everybody it's april dawn let's talk about this queen sugar season three episode three hey, y'all i just want to let you know listen i know i'm looking busted and disgusted but it's summertime i don't have to be in the classroom i don't have to have no kids i don't have to get i listen my corner walmart see the worst of me like who did it and why so i'm sorry if i'm looking busted and disgusted but i ain't putting no makeup on for no video i'm just letting you know now for the hairstyle before y'all ask because i know a lot of people ask about the hairstyle this is just a ponytail right here see this is a ponytail and i left the bangs out in the front and i just took some bobby pins and secured the bobby pins you know to make the bangs shorter because they really hang to like about right here all in my eye so i have to take the bobby pin lift up underneath and that's it and this is the this is what i come up with this is nice and cool too for the summertime let's go ahead and get started i just preparing for his first day of school it was so cute he was laying out his little outfit and everything i was like come through michael you better be ready for the first day and charlie comes into room and she tells him that you know she trusts him you know they're gonna try it for a little while see how it goes she tells him to make sure that he keeps his grades up that she's putting a lot of trust in him and he seems excited about starting the news is talking to her editor and her editor tells her that they won't be able to use the articles from the news paper the ones that she wrote about the zilka virus about you know mass incarceration about those different things she is kind of upset by this whole thing because this is the premise of her whole book it's her articles and because she left the company um now she can't use those articles so the lady told her to co go back regroup come with a new proposal so now um it's a bad thing and it's a good thing because now she can write about whatever she wants but she has to figure out what that is Ralph Angel is at work. He's getting ready to leave. He tells the lady, they're trying to get him to play cards or whatever. And one of the owners, I'm guessing, the family that owns the shipyard or owns the boat, excuse me, comes out and tells him that he needs to find him a good woman. Why don't he stay? You know, she needs her space partner. He's like, no, I got to go get blue. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at you the next time. This whole time, Darlis has been calling, 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 y'all. He just don't want to answer the phone for Darlis. He don't want to talk about what happened. Hollywood big time now, y'all. He don't even go to the barber shop no more. The barber come to the house. Barber comes to the house and, of course, ask Negro do everybody got a proposal for a business when somebody hit the lottery or make a lot of money or whatever barbara leaves him with the proposal and violet comes in and she's like listen you really gonna uh, have a proposal for a barbershop and he was like yeah i'm thinking about investing in it she's like listen you just got that money you already ready to spend it and he's like listen you know i want to be involved in the community you know what's the purpose of having all this money if you can't do nothing with it and so she just tells him you know to chill out so you can kind of see you know how do we want to spend this money so anyway, he tells her that he's going to take her out and buy her something nice and new because his class reunion is coming up and he wants them both to be fly, honey. He said he's going to get her some red bottoms. And she was like, no, I don't want no red bottoms. I don't know nothing about no red bottoms or whatever. And so we'll see what happens with that whole thing. And when they're complaining and going back and forth about the money and all of that stuff, he pulls out this ring like, I know you ain't had no problem with me splurging on this ring. It's a beautiful diamond ring. Y'all, she don't know what to do. I kind of feel like, I hate to say this, I hate to say it, because I know y'all gonna get upset with me, but I is gonna be the reason why they ain't gonna make it. Just like she was the first time, telling him, go on, on you know, be with somebody young, X, Y, and Z. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. He gave her the diamond ring, and she seems very happy about having that beautiful ring. Ralph Angel is at the house. He about to receive some booty, and this girl here, this wasn't Tiffany with the bundles. This was another lady, okay? We gonna call her Kitchen Booty Bay, okay? So Kitchen Booty Bay, she come up to the house. She like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? We need to put this on the schedule. You know what I'm saying? Well, you wanna do it in the kitchen, in the car, on the porch? I'm like, you done did it everywhere but the damn bed, Ralph Angel. You can't have these. Listen, she come on up in there. They do what they need to do. And at this time, Blue is walking out. He sees them, or he sees her with him. Um, I don't think that he was laying. I don't think we saw him in the scene, but she was, like, putting her clothes on or whatever. So, Blue catch him in the act. Let's see how that works out later on. Micah is at his new school, and we see Kiki. Hey, Kiki, girl! Her mic ain't gonna make it, y'all. I can tell you that already. But, you know, he walking with Kiki. They, she looking at the class schedules. They don't have any class together. She said that, you know, that can get changed, but his mom has to request that it get changed. And then we figure out that... He, I mean, Kiki is friends with those group of kids that took the knee at the basketball game and all of that stuff. So, Michael is excited. You can tell he's happy. You know, he got a little notoriety. You know, the people know who he is when he walking down the hallway because his dad or whatever. He seems generally excited about this whole new prospect of him being at the black school. So, and it seemed like to be a pretty smooth transition, which I did not predict. 
So we'll see what happens. Up Angel uh, receives the person that the probation officer told him about last week. The guy who want, needs the job like he does. The man showed up late. He was not prepared. Basically, he has no experience farming. He rode the bus there. He was late. Rap Angel tells him he need to be on time. And he walked him around the fields. And the dude just tell him, listen, you know, I grew up riding bikes. I didn't grow up, you know, in the woods. You know, I, I didn't grow up hunting, fishing, and farming. I don't know how to do that. So he don't know how to do nothing. So Rap Angel tells him, Okay, well, thank you for coming out or whatever. And the, as the dude is leaving, he tells him something about the axle on his tractor. Because like he said, he grew up around bikes his whole life. So he probably a handy mechanic or whatever. So Ralph Angel kind of takes note of that. I think this will, now that I've met the guy and we've got familiar with him, I think that this will be a good thing for Rap Angel. It's either going to be a very good thing or it's going to be a terrible ass thing, okay? <laughs> but I think um, it'll be a good thing. That's my prediction. Charlie is meeting with a wife and husband farmers and they're telling her that they have to break their contract something has come up with their family they can't afford to have the land anymore you know they just can't do it she's trying to work things out with them well is there something we can do is there a way we can work it out i really don't want to lose the business that we've had with this family for so, for so many years but they tell her no they can't help it it's a um, family thing and you know they need to get away from it. she asks well who owns the land and she says uh the landry's on the land we're just leasing the land so that's some going on with that. Okay? They tell her, thank you, you know, thank you, just like your dad, whatever, because she lets them get away, break the contract with none of the penalties that come with breaking your contract. So, she, you know, they thank her, and she gone about her business. And then they was telling her, oh, you just like your daddy, you an honest person. You know, it kind of stung a little bit because she lying to everybody. Nobody knows that she's secretly doing business with the Landry's. And so, you know, that kind of stung and hurt her a little bit. But I'm down for Charlie. Listen, I'm on Team Charlie. I don't know about y'all, but I'm Team Charlie. You ride, bitch. Okay, ride on these hoes. And then everybody, like she said, ain't nobody going to be worried about how she did it. They're going to be glad that it's done. Okay? So Ralph Angel meets with Nova at the High Yellow and they discuss the candidate that came. And, you know, he's basically saying dude was not prepared, dude was late, dude was this and that. And she said, you know, he was like, I don't know if it's enough to take a risk on him. And Nova is like, well, I could have said the same thing about you, Negro, about six, seven, eight months ago. Like I said, Ralph Angel is going to take this guy on and this is going to be a good thing for him. A woman farmer comes in to the high yellow and she thanks him and charlie because now she's back with queen sugar she said the five-year rate was something that she couldn't pass up she don't know what he did landry not bothering him no more she don't know what charlie did but you know they're thankful for her and thankful for him and all of this here and so when they sit down nova is like listen what had happened what did charlie do and he was like don't worry about it you know what i'm saying she did what she do and she doing what she did, okay? And it's done, okay? And she like, so you really not gonna tell me what Nova did, like what's going on? And he was like, don't worry about it, it's the plan. We, She got a plan in actions and the, you know, they ain't gonna know nothing about it. So now he done spilled the tea child, so you know Nova gonna run back. They come tea. together for this meeting and you know, they all dressed up because, uh, well, Hollywood and Vire dressed up because they about to go to the reunion. But they get together, and I mean, as soon as Charlie get in the door good, they boom, hit her with the, are you doing business with the Landrys? She like, yeah, I'm doing business with the Landrys, but you got to see the big picture. You got to see the master plan. You know, it's X, Y, and Z. So she lay it out for them. It's 1%. You know, I got the access, and I'm going to take everybody down until I own all of their shit. You know, and Nova is like, listen, the game is rigged. You know, she's like, it's not a game. I'm not playing the game. Like, what I don't understand about the Border Leons and Charlie is that you can tell that she's really, in some way, still not considered a total member of the family because they don't trust her. Like, they, it's not like Charlie has proven results. Yeah, she do scheme and she do sneak and go, you know, backwards and behind. You know, she do that. She the person who work, you know, a different type of way. But and they they might not like it. But has Charlie ever had a misstep? You know, she the one who came back, and that's what she pointed out in the meeting. I'm the one who's done and all this for dad. Me, bitch, my money. I was about to lose everything, and like she said on the other episode, they ran away from me on the word of a white man i did what i had to do and i'm doing what i have to do now so i need for y'all to trust me and understand that this the way shit gotta be done okay and so nova just like well you know you just gonna keep smiling at people's face and all the while sam landry take their place so she like bitch i said what i said okay you you this shit ain't gonna work out for you it's not gonna work i don't think it's a good idea what the Holly is like listen michael come on let's go and michael looking at her like i ain't going nowhere mama Michael, Michael, you're not gonna, 
Michael. Michael looking at her like, bitch, I ain't going nowhere. You got explanation. You got some explaining to do. I'm trying to gather herself and she going about her business, honey. You know, they read her right. Black Angel goes to pick up his check. Doll is calling him once again. He's ignoring the calls once again. He gives the phone to Blue in the car and tells Blue, you know, talk to your mama. I'm finna go, you know, get this check or whatever. So he goes and another guy, I guess it's this lady's son, she comes to him and they're talking to him, you know, just banter, chit chat. And the girl who brings him his check now is the older sister but she was up north getting her education so now she's got her education she back and she cute you know she kind of look like a dollar 2.0 we can tell that ralph angel clearly clearly has a type um they have a little small talk banter flirt you can tell it's gonna be a little something something between them i'm here for the shit it was cute to me um i feel like as much as the family like Ralph Angel, I don't know if they're going to want Ralph Angel to get with their daughter. That's a whole different story. Who got a whole bunch of degrees? We're going to see how that shit go over, too. He get his check, and he going about his business. Bye. In Hollywood, go to the class reunion. They having a good time. They're meeting friends, you know, all that catching up, all of that good stuff. And then all of a sudden, um, Hollywood's old high school sweetheart, she twirls on in the room. Hey, is that you with your fine self clearly being shady? Clearly being extra, you know, she a little younger than Vi. She a little, she ain't finer than Vi, okay? But she a little younger than Vi, that's all she got. She ain't that, she ain't prettier than Vi. She not finer than Vi, okay? Don't do Vi. Don't you do Vi. Twirl her ass up in there, flirting with Hollywood. Oh, he look good, hugging him tight. She don't want to let him go. And you can feel it's a little tension. So Ralph Angel goes to comfort Charlie, and Charlie is basically telling him that she can't protect Michael from the world anymore. And uh, she just don't want him to hate her. And Ralph Angel is like, he don't hate you. You know, he, he, um, he nothing has, y'all have been through hell and back. And nothing about that boy has really changed much. He loves you. And, you know, he know that you love him. And he tells her that you the only person on the front line, Charlie. I'm team Charlie. Me, see me and Ralph Angel, we right here with it. Okay, we right here with it. Ralph Angel then tells her everything is going to be okay and they have a nice moment of closeness. I am really enjoying these two characters being closer this season. Like, it is a beautiful thing to me that they have their own special relationship and even though everybody hating on her and the shit do make sense to what they saying, Ralph Angel could look past that and still see that there's some validity to what she's doing. It makes sense, Okay. Comes home, checks her mail, and sees that there's a letter with the last check from the newspaper in there. On the letter, it has a sticky note that says, I'm sorry, I should have had your back. So apparently her editor didn't even go up for her when they decided to ban her from using the articles. Like, first and foremost, that's the most saltiest, raggediest shit that the newspaper could ever do. Like, why would you be salty if somebody quit? Because Nova was the one bringing your paper notoriety and critical acclaim. Now, she didn't want to write the type of articles you didn't want her to write. She, you were suppressing her voice. So she said, you know what? I'm going to move on to Greener Pastures. And you're going to be a salty bitch and not let her use the articles that brought critical acclaim and probably will bring more critical acclaim to your newspaper. But I... Nova is, you know, on to a new horizon. She starts taking all the, the articles off of her board. And she's only left with the Susan B. Anthony as a Susan child. Just made that up. The lady, Ida B. Wells, that's her name. Ida B. Posted in the middle. So now she's on a new journey. She's going to have to come up with something new. She's going to have to pull something totally new. Angels woken up in the middle of the night. Things are shuffling all around. You know, I'm thinking with my evil ass. I'm like, that's that nigga you let him come to your house. <laughs> Went straight to hell thinking the worst about my people, okay? But it was Blue. Blue was trying to find him some clean sheets because apparently he had been using the restroom on himself. So uh, Ralph Angel talks to him a little bit. And he says, well, why you didn't tell me? He said, well, I tried to tell you the other night, but you was up in there with a woman. What you was doing, Ralph Angel? Ralph Angel was like, yeah. You know, he kind of dodged that question. He went around the mulberry bush and was like, listen, using the bathroom ain't nothing to be ashamed of. You know, everybody made mistakes. You know, I help you clean it up, whatever, whatever. He picks him up, he hugs him, and he comforts him. So once again, Blue is, you know, keeping Ralph Angel's feet planted firmly on the ground at all times. So when you have a child to take care of, you cannot always be just freaking all over the house. Hell, if you married, you got a child, you can't even be freaking all over the house, okay? But just because Darla gone, don't lose your damn mind. So I'm glad Blue is still there and always there to keep him grounded. We back to the class reunion and Ralph... We back to the class reunion in Hollywood's, you know, ex boo is at the table. We make a small talk for everybody. And she says, I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself to you. Um, are you his mother? I think, no, she said, I think I met you when I was like 14. Are you Hollywood's mother? 
Bitch. I'm sorry. Bitch. I'd have hit that. I'd have knocked that hoe out across the table. But see, that's why I ain't got no man. But Vi was just like, excuse me? Um, Hollywood was like, excuse me? No, this is my fiance. My very lovely and beautiful fiance. And then she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I, I'm so sorry. I just, I didn't mean to say that or whatever. But you don't look a day over 25. Like, bitch, don't, don't come with the shade. See, that's when you have got popped. You come with that little extra piece of shade. And then she played herself, though, because she asked Hollywood to dance. Well, why don't we get a dance for old time's sake? And Hollywood was like, nah, I'm good. I got my own dancing partner, my favorite dancing partner with me, bitch. Okay, goodbye. Bye, ho. Let me invite go on a dance floor. You know they couldn't run that ow. Ow. Ow, right? That other couple comes out. They dancing. They have a good time. Vi says she's going to get a sip of water, but when she walks away to get the sip of water, we can see that even though she played it off, she was very affected by what the girl had said. Plus, she, the bitch is sick. You know what I'm saying? She probably tired. You just made 75,000 pies like two days ago, and now you at a party. The bitch is tired. She need to take breaks, short breaks. Okay? Short breaks. I don't know how this going to manifest in like some type of paranoia shit where she going to break up with Hollywood. Like, I don't have time for this shit. You too old, bitch, to be going through this vibe. The man love you. He love you the same way you love him. He going to be there for you. He going to take care of you. He going to um, take care of you when you old and, and falling down and broke down. Then y'all, you will die or you'll get a divorce and he marry somebody else. Girl, it is what the fuck it is. Be with that man. He love you, girl. Michael's chilling with the friends, okay? He, they are sitting out there talking about the revolution and, you know, the light-skinned girl with the braids, they ask her, why is he there? Now, before this, Kiki was there, but she rolled off on the ATV, said she was coming right back. She taught the young girl how to use the ATV, so her and the other uh, light-skinned girl are friends. So I hope that this don't happen, you know, that she happens to get with Micah at some point. But whatever. So she said, why are you here? He said, I could have never got a group together at that school to take a knee at a basketball game like y'all did. I want to stand up for what I believe in. I want to fight for what I believe in. And the friends seem to accept that and say, cool, you know, the revolution will be televised. They're talking about their next thing, what they're going to do, how they're going to, you know, you know, up their game the next time, level up. Um, and then Kiki comes back. And, you know, her and Michael go off together. And it's real cute. Hopefully, I don't think Kiki is going to be as much, you know, willing to do all of these things as Michael is. And I think that's probably where the schism is going to come into the relationship. You know, he voiced an opinion about being suspended. And the other kids was like, forget that. We ain't worried about being suspended. You know, we got to do what we got to do, boo. Back at the reunion with Vi, she's sitting at the pool, you know, just thinking, contemplating tired okay Hollywood come over there she like no go with your friends have a good time he like listen I can't talk to people no more they talk too much you know I'm tired I done danced I done told them in stories and I think he can sense that she's uncomfortable or she's ready to go home he's like well do you mind if we just call it a night instead of her having to say I'm tired can we go home he's taking the burden of that and saying listen um I'm really tired can we just go home to the house and it was just so nice how she took his hand and she was like okay that's fine you know we can do that if you want to do and I was just like, bitch, you better. Oh, girl, this man care about you, girl. He love you. Don't you mess this up, Violet. Don't you mess that up, Elite man. Oh, child. Can't get nobody text me back. Michael talks to Nova about, you know, the whole situation and how, you know, he wishes that his mom would be a little bit more like her because she does things out in the open. You know, she uses words. She uses action. She don't use secrets and lies or whatever. And Nova just breaks it down to him. Listen, the world is not perfect. This shit ain't new. Some people wanted a seat at the table. Some people wanted to storm the gates. I think Charlie is doing a combination of the two because she's sitting at the table, but she's going to storm the damn gates, okay? She just getting the information that she needs to gather. So he was, she was like, you know, the way she do things might not be the best thing you know and maybe i shouldn't have said some of the things i said but you should be proud of your mama she's done more in a lifetime than most people will ever do and he says i am proud but but then he just stops himself and says i am proud micah then puts a little bug in nova's ear and tells her she has a book deal she can write about anything she wants she can write about the black farmer she can write about revolutionary she can write about whatever she wants to and this kind of puts the bug in nova's mind so nova goes to her house she starts brainstorming you know now we got little things black farmers forgotten legacies you know different things that she just thinking out loud to see what her book will be about so now we got a little seed and that's a good thing ralph angel is in the bed with blue and he gets a phone call from kitchen booty bay so kitchen booty bay pull up and she like you know what's happening what's up is he at he so he like listen you know what i'm saying 
we gonna have to chill out. The baby not sleep tonight, so you know, I can't do nothing tonight, but we gonna have to chill out for a while. And so she tells him, well, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? You should go ahead and be a good dad. You know where to find me. You know what you missing out on, all this. And I'm like, girl, this is classic, bitch, not a way to get a man, bitch. I'm telling you, if you like Ralph Angel for more than just some wee-wee, Maybe she did it. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna put that on that sister. I'm not saying she wanted to be his woman, but I'm telling y'all, this is not the way to get a man, okay? Because he gonna do it to you, do it to you, jump up and down on top of you, karate chop you, wear you out, honey, in the kitchen, on the porch, and in the car. And he gonna send your ass right home to your kids. You will never be his nothing but what you are, okay? And um, take them, do what you want with it, lady. He goes in there and talks to Micah in the morning, and she apologizes and tells him that the world is not perfect, so she doesn't know why, you know, they expect the solutions to be perfect. And he tells her, listen, if you're going to keep doing this, at least promise me you're going to win, bitch. You're going to keep going back, doing the same stuff, lying and scheming, promise me you're going to win. She, she been winning, though. She been winning. He said, when I'm finished with this, I promise you, it's all going to be worth it. She ain't lying. She ain't lying when she said that it is all going to be worth it. I guarantee you when it's done, it's definitely all going to be worth it. And Micah says, I trust Ralph Angel is talking to his job candidate, asking him why he went to jail, X, Y, and Z. He finds out that the guy was a thief, just like Ralph Angel, okay, <laughs> was a thief. And that's why he got caught and he went to jail. He said even though, you know, he just got out, he's not looking for no shortcuts. He sounds exactly pretty much like Ralph Angel did when he got out of jail. And so at the end, Ralph decides to go ahead and give him the application or the W-9 to fill out. Tells him to be at work early in the morning, on time. Dude says yes. So dude turns around to leave, and then we hear Blue screaming, Mama, Mama! So he run out in the yard, and guess who pulled up? Darla. Baby, Darla look good. Darla look like she got her ends trimmed, honey. She looking like she got her ends. She had a business casual suit on like she a secretary or something. You know what I mean? Like she working. She look good in the face. She look full. You know, like she eating good and living a prosperous life. Okay? So she hugging her baby, and Rap Angel is standing right there. Now, had that nigga answer the phone, he probably wouldn't have had these problems. But he didn't want to deal with his problems, so the problem showed up right in your damn front yard. That's it, y'all. It was a pretty good episode. It was jam-packed. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with Charlie. I know this is like the main biggest storyline in the um, whole show. Um, but I'm, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with Charlie and will she be able to pull this off, okay? Because I'm team Charlie, but I'm still worried. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see, um, are they going to develop this relationship with, with Ralph Angel and his new girl? Or, you know, him and Donna going to try to work things out? Are they just going to get to a co-parenting thing? Is she going to come and take Blue? Blue is not his son. So she could technically come and take Blue and Blue can be gone, okay? And he had to get visitation some other type of way. So that'll be very interesting. Vying in Hollywood, I think Vi is gonna be the person who is gonna be the downfall. That, that, <laughs> Vi is gonna be the downfall of that relationship because one, she don't want to deal with her sickness in a way that I think is constructive and that's gonna keep her healthy. Okay, I think she just avoided, avoided, avoided. She probably take her medication and whatnot, but she not like taking the extra time to rest and you know I don't know if she's eating right. Like I don't know, and I need for her to be like okay you know what i'm saying i need her body to be okay i don't want her to die but i feel like her insecurities and her doubts are going to be what's going to come in between her and hollywood and plus hollywood with the money and you know want to spend and being flashy and i don't like i said last week i don't think that's vibes with her ideal of what she want her marriage to be so i'm not exactly sure but i would love to hear your thoughts on that so that's all i got for this week y'all so Sorry if it's a little bit late. I just got a little lazy. It's summertime, so I'm a little lazy. And then I've just accepted a role of a new play as the understudy, so I won't be on the main stage, but I have to go to their rehearsals. I'm trying to make me some money because I'm moving this summer, y'all. So any little piece of change I can make that's extra, I'm going to take it. So I'm not going to hit the stage for that one unless somebody gets sick, but I still have to attend all the rehearsals. Plus, I'm in another show, um, and we rehearse on Monday. So that means that every single day of the week, Monday through Sunday, I have a rehearsal. The theater is dark on Monday, but I have a rehearsal for the other people on Monday. So um, if you're in Houston, I'm going to be in Amos Behaving at, at, Match Theater, at Match Theater downtown on July the 7th. It's just a one-night only performance. They have two performances at 2, 1 at 7. So you can go to the um, theater website. That's Match, M-A-T-C-H, Match Theater, and it's in downtown Houston. So if you want to see me, come on out. You can meet me in person, okay? Um, so I have a lot of rehearsals. So my daytime is the only time that I have to do things and all of that. So let me know what y'all think about this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share. Sharing is caring. 
So don't be afraid to share this video with all your friends and tell them you know somebody who watched Queen Sugar, all right? I think I'm going to add Black Ink Crew. I'm debating Black Ink Crew. I'm debating, I am going to add Claws to the roster, okay? Claws definitely will be on the roster. Um, I'm thinking about Pose and Black Ink Crew. Let me know which one you think you would like better to see because i know we kind of end pose is just one episode in black and crew is two episodes in but it's lit so you know let me know what you would like to see all right i'll holler at y'all next time peace